Hey guys, it's the Beast back with another video. As you guys can see, we're doing another unboxing. And well, this is not in you know, the throwing eyes or anything like that. This is actually an unboxing of Paracord. And well, oh, sorry about that, but uh, I ordered these off of all, uh, Amazon. And I guess you can see that's the kit. I'm not sure if you can. There we go. That's the kit I ordered in the bottom. I can tell you right down there. That's what I ordered. And it comes in a set of 10. It's 100 feet in total. I was making sure it was. And it is. Well, when I ordered them, it said 100 feet. I wasn't sure if it was, you know, 100 feet in total or it was 100 feet per. For that, I forgot what they called it exactly, but they come in a set of 10, it can, you know, different colors, let me just lay them out real quick, boom, 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 and I think they said this is a pretty good set for, for beginners, because it's just 10 feet and uh, some clips too, <laughs> but they said it's a pretty good starting for some old for most people because you know not many people want to buy you know a hundred feet of just one color you know because they don't know exactly what to do so they give you 10 feet this is 10 feet and another 10 you know you guys get the picture these are all 10 feet each and to make the bracelet if the wrist size which I don't have a string right now but if your wrist size what you do it's find a string, which I have a separate one to measure my wrist. I marked it. You get a ruler. You extend it on inches to see how long it is in inches. And however long, if it's four inches, then the ratio for the wire to make most bracelets, I think, was one foot per inch. So if your wrist three inches somehow, I guess for a toddler or something, you may need three feet of paracord. If it's set, set, uh, yeah, six inches... You need six feet of paracord to make that one bracelet. So, you know, this is a good beginner's one because they give you 10 feet. Oh, you know, let me just throw one. Yeah, this is 10 feet. So you can make one bracelet out of this. And they give you 10 clips. So you can make 10 bracelets in total for, you know, the average person, I guess. Because my wrist size was... If I remember right, it was 8 inches, I think. So I need 8 feet of paracord to make one bracelet. Which is alright. And if you wanted to, you know, let's say you want to mix these two colors. Which I actually may make a bracelet out of these two. You can mix and match. Oh no. Sorry about that, guys. I was, uh... I cut it off. This someone came into my room, so you know... So I paused it, the recording, but, uh, so I go back, like I said, if I were to make a bracelet out of these two colors, I can mix and match the colors, which, you know, since I need eight feet, I can use four and four, which is just fine, because as long as you know, you cut them, which these, uh, yeah, you'll be fine, because the one end leads to another end, yeah, you'll be fine, but as long as you know, you get however much string, you cut it, and then you you use a lighter, burn the end to get it like this. You guys can see. Uh, right there. To get the end burnt and use it to make the bracelet. And uh, Which I may do later. I'm not sure. I may make a tutorial over how to make some bracelets that I know. It's been a while since I've made any. Let me get these from above real quick. These are the bracelets I have. Let me clip on each. You guys can, you know, look up videos on YouTube to make them yourself, but this is one I made back then when I was, I don't know, 8? No, not 8, maybe like 12. They call it the King Cobra, and, well, <laughs> if I remember right, yeah, this this one doesn't fit me anymore. Actually, let's see, it was a couple of years back, so that's about 7.5 inches. And this one's, well, I guess you can see one most recently. 
And this one's about seven and let's see, seven and what is that? This one somehow fits me though. Seven and uh that's over roughly what one, two, three, four, five, five eighths, I think. Let's see. Oh, let me put it on. I'm just trying to put it on. Yeah, it's kind of hard to roll. There we go. But yeah, uh, this is called a fishtail. And this is the first time making it. And then I made it when I was getting the paracord in. If you push it back all the way, it makes the knot much stiffer. But I didn't do that. So, you know, <laughs> I have that much if I do that. Which is really doesn't bother me because I don't really think about pushing it like that. But it was fine. This is back then when I didn't really know, know the ratios. I just made them, measured my wrist size. I think it said, if I watched one video, wrap it around your hand like four or five times. I forgot exactly. And, oh, how did I show you this one? This is the regular Cobra knot. Or, yeah, knot, a wave, whatever knot. Which is most commonly known. And this is some heart one. No, I'm not sure if you guys can actually see the hearts. Actually, I think it needs to be like that. There we go. But, uh, you guys can see right here ish. The red right here. There it loops. There. Kind of makes it in. Loops back around and makes a heart shape. That's the red. And it does the same thing on the pink, too. So this is my first that was my first time making this race and I think it came out pretty good. I liked it. And well, that's what I used to do. Now I know that you know every inch if you, uh, yeah, you guess it's a ruler, every inch is equal to one foot. Well, <laughs> at least now I know, so I can make them right now, but I may make a videos later on how to make them. But yeah, the buckles are right here they look pretty small to be honest they're not as big as these clips as you guys can see on the regular well there's another one king cobra well, not king cobra regular cobra they're those size oh this is on back oh yeah that's on right yeah those are those sizes so it's kind of hard to make a big bracelet with just these small of clips, but you know, you can make it work. It's just, it's going to be really hard to, you know, fit so much string into these. I would have liked to get bigger clips, but you know, it came with the kit, so I'm, I'm fine with it. I would have liked clip like this, but it's fine to be honest. I can still make a bracelet out of it, but yeah, this is just, you know, it wasn't that short. I was hoping it would have been short, but. You know, just a little unboxing on some paracord I bought off of Amazon. There it is with the clips, which the bag is open. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Like, just cover me. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I may post some tutorials on how to make some bracelets. So, I guess keep an eye out. I may post them. I'm not sure. I may make some off cam so you might not see that many. But I'll see what happens. So I hope you guys did enjoy it again. Leave a like if you did. You know, leave a like. Share the video to help me grow, you know, but I don't know. <laughs> I wanna grow, but I ain't, haven't put in that much time into the channel. Which I would like to put in more time. But school right now, so once I'm done with school, hopefully you guys will see more videos out there. But share if you did, like if if you like the video and comment of what you know, see, you know, what bracelet you want me to make. And I'll try to look it up, try to make it, and see how it comes out, you know. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I hope you guys are having a great day. But, uh, I'll just see you guys later.